this is the car that we were have been talking about. Never before. go full retard. Never go full carbon. Wow. But, but is it I even mean, the, even yeah, the back the, window? Yeah, the thing is exactly the back window because you can get aftermarket carbon fiber doors, yeah. the front, the bumper, this? but this. That takes some work. And money. Good morning, everyone. And it's a very nice day today. Today on schedule, we have another track day and it's going to be definitely a better track day than yesterday because it's an open pit lane and I know that Dale from Bridge to Gantry is organizing it. That means, hello, that means uh, Dale will never link his name to a bad track day organizer. When I posted a rant status yesterday on Facebook already, Dale said I'm avoiding these car track days as, as a plague. Yeah, well, I'll put a, a screenshot somewhere here. Anyway, we have a lot of cars going out today. We have a GT86, a 125 BMW, the Cayman is going out again with Alex. Uh, what else? The BMW, one more time, and most importantly, the yellow 991 race car, which we have finished today. So we will be testing it today. And, hello. Morning. But the first stop is Schillinger for breakfast. Hello, Pirajok. Hello. Осторожно, осторожно тут. Better not be filming in front of the bank. Bye bye, have fun. Most of the cars just left ring garage to the track except for the green 135. A customer is getting dressed and will be picking it up soon. The yellow race car is uh, getting some final checkups and will be leaving there soon. And ex yeah, except for those two, everyone's gone, so it's time to me to leave. She's alive. That's the sound of a car that is alive. Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> I've arrived at the Bridge to Gantry circuit days track day with Mr. Bridge to Gantry himself next to me. Here's the Cayman. We got also the 135, the yellow Porsche. There's a the E92 M3, uh, the GT86 is running around here somewhere. It's still in one piece, which matters. Well, first things first, since I met you today, tell me something about today's track day. I put up a rant about yesterday's track day on Facebook. <laughs> you commented on it. Yeah. It was just... You know, uh, I love the Deutsche Sports Christ. The DSK is uh, uh, for fans, by fans, and it's a big organization, and it helps motorsport all throughout Germany. Mm -hmm. However, the DSA, DSK track days, like yesterday, are notoriously bad. Yeah. The reason is they pack a lot of people into a very yeah. small amount of time. Uh, the good point is you're only paying a few hundred euros for an and that's the reason day. why it's also so packed exactly. and that's the reason it's why they're it's yeah, economics it's economics and also close pit lane you have to get off all the time which yeah. creates also traffic jams and anyway let's not talk about the bad things let's talk about let's talk about the good things the good so things so today if, for example today we look at this uh, British Gantry circuit days 450 pounds sterling so it's still on the on the value side of a track day it, it's we're an average in, price yeah, unless in, you talk about like exclusive yeah. private exactly. track Days. So this is like the average price. An exclusive track day would cost you a thousand euros or more. and have maybe 40 yeah. cars on. Yeah. We are less than that. We have uh, 450 pounds, 600 euros, and we're running about 100 cars today. Yeah. So economically, we're all making the same amount of money. I heard about 120 cars. Or yeah, it? not quite. Not, not quite. quite. Okay. But nearly. Nearly. Next time. Yeah. Next time we do. But still, you have a lim limit of yes, 120. Yeah, really so yeah. first come, first serve. Yeah, perfect. And uh, also when we. Ray just joined me, us. Smoking again, by the way. Yeah, so it's, it's a, so it's a break. Yeah, just a little, if Ray's smoking, it's a break. And because someone crashed, I heard. Yeah. Um, anyway, if we compare it with yesterday, where there have been a lot of aggressive drivers. Oh, no, we're not having that today. Accidentally. not allowed. Yeah. I made a very, 
very strict briefing last night and this yeah. morning. Uh, and I, I look out across the car park here and I can almost name 50% of the drivers here. Yeah. We're all kind of tourist Spartan drivers, a uh, bit of VLN guys, a few RCN guys. But the number one point of the briefing, both last night and this morning, was respect. What about having a camera mounted on the car? Is that he's allowed? okay? He's not. He's not going on the track with that. He's going out on the uh, on the road. Uh, on okay. the track, he already knows he's not allowed to do that. Okay. He's already being briefed. Okay, good. So still, again, no cameras outside. You allowed to run cameras inside? Inside is okay. If you have a very complicated car like a Caterham, then you have to put the car put the camera on the inside of the roll cage, not on the outside of the roll cage. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. That's a Nürburgring roll. Right? Yeah, but We're not going to be able to change. What that. I wanted to say is in comparison with yesterday, there are a lot of interesting exclusive cars participating. Well, we yeah. obviously have well the GT3s, the Lovely. GT3 RS, McLaren, we have the 650 S Spider. Another GT3 997. Fiesta ST there Fiesta. at the end. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You have to mention that one. Lotus is Cayman GT4s. Yeah, I have to uh, say this little Exige here, the 98 Exige. Yeah. That's got um, the, the big Rover motor in it with the really lumpy cam and that's actually like 200 and something horsepower from 1.8 litres, which is always, that's On always the worth what? a big thumbs up in my 800, book. 800, 700 kilos? Yeah, the, the Series 1 Exige can be under 800 if you build it right. Yeah, crazy. I heard uh, the owner, that's the owner of Nitro and your sponsor still yes. have one. Guy, still, yeah, 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 they've still got a Lotus, they've got an MX-5 as well this yeah, year. Yeah. They're, they're building an MX-5 for the shop. Yeah, really looking forward to see that one. And other than that, a lot of race cars, we're testing yeah. the race car. Let's have, a look at, the let's have a look at another parking while we're yeah, at it, because I it. saw some very interesting carton fiber. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, the track is about to be opened. Oh. Unfortunately, somebody didn't have that much luck. It will take at least an hour to clear the track, so you maybe want to have some lunch, go away and have some rest if your car breaks. Sad face. Sad See face. There it was. Was looked pretty bad. But that gives us opportunity to look at the cars here exactly. because everyone is off Check the track. Check this out, we got GT4, GT3, yeah. GT3 RS. RS. Wrench spot. Hello. <laughs> and this is the car that we were have been talking about. Never before. go full retard. Never go full carbon. Wow. But, but is it I mean, the, yeah, the, the yeah, the thing is exactly the back window because you can get aftermarket carbon fiber doors, yeah. the front, the bumper, this? but this. That takes some work. And money. <laughs> what? Ah. Uh. Is it fist approved? Yeah. Oh, full fist. Absolutely. You can four also fist. Four That's fists. Actually, you can't even get that in Amsterdam, you know. I have no experience. I cannot. I I only researched it on the internet. So. Okay. On the corn hub. <laughs> yeah, corn hub. Popping fresh every yeah. day. Is that? Oh, that's also a participator. That's pretty cool. What's that? That's not the 190, is it? I think this is full race car. Full race I car. This, I think this might be an XDTM car. Yeah, we but have to get a bit closer. Yeah, look at the bucket seats inside. You know what? Why? That's awesome. I bet he's having fun. Absolutely. So again, like I made a notice during Sky Limit event track day, if you have a track day, it's not that you need to have a full-blown race GT4. car which costs half a million euros or even more. You can just have something like that. All like that. For the record, my first track day, Fiat Cinquecento Sporting in purple with 13 inch wheels and Spax springs. I had the best day of my life doing that track day. I thought it was the best thing ever. What was yours? First time going fast in the car. Uh, on the Nordschleife? No, no any, ever. Any, 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 any track. track? Any track. That was my Subaru in, in Pretza, which had 270 horsepower. The first time I went on the track it was yeah. to get my race car driver license. Yeah. So I never been on the track, and I went. I hit about the the pussy, the, the, the kitty litter. Yeah. About like five or eight times in one day, because <laughs> I was just pushing too hard. But luckily, I did it there under good circumstances. Body club brakes on the S2000. Body club. You want to be my oh, buddy? JDM on this. Yeah. Stripped out. Yep. Pretty cool. What else have we got? Something. This is the GT3 Cup car. Yeah, I like the girl on the side. It looks like a bit 80s, but yeah, then yeah. modern. Looks like a V5 or a V6 class Cayman. V6 
class 325. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. He's oh. here as well. I've yeah. got to show you this. Absolutely. JDM fans, prepare yourself. I'm all right, mate. Good. Can you tell us about your this awesome 200 SX? Um, what? Oh, that. Ah, oh, jeez. From walking up from there, I thought it was R33, but now I see. I have my glasses on, and if I was Bruce Boris, I would say I was drunk, but I'm not. So, okay, please, JDM fans, excuse me. So, 200 SX. Mm. What's up with it? Uh, rebuilt engine. About 400 horsepower, very light. As a SR20? Lots of, turbo bits, close up, turbo lots of, close up. Lots of bit, bits added on. Yeah. Okay, well you can obviously have a fast engine, but uh, without controlling it, it's useless on large flyers. So what about suspension and so on? Suspension is a Driftworks. Driftworks. Driftworks struts. Yeah. With uh, custom eye back springs and rose jointed arms. And Carbon fiber. And fiber bits and bobs. Inside also carbon, lightweight, track prepped. Glittery sticker helmet. Yeah, yeah. most important. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, BBS yes, rims. Right, um, GTR gearbox, R33 GTR diff. And ah, so you can put a GTR gearbox on the uh, SR20 engine. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Those were the days. Yeah. <laughs> and how are you finding the handling? Because I know before Handlings, you've had a yeah. little bit of problems with handling. handling. Awesome. I saw you right up the chuff of a 911 as you're coming down the straight yeah, here. How yeah. fast is it on the straight? Um, one, well, I hit the limiter in fifth, so I was doing 175. <laughs> well, so about about miles? Miles an hour. That so that's is. almost 300 the, kilometers. Almost 300. The was about, it lifted up about six <laughs> inches, it looked like it. I'm a little bit scared. And, and now, now front wheel bearings making all their noise. Oh, so, so it's on a finite now lifespan. I'm now I'm scared of <laughs> driving it. <laughs> well, what's the worst thing that can happen? Oh, the well, wheel could fall yeah. off and you could crash. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You had an exploded tyre once, right? I had a pop tyre into the foxhole, and that was a 4,400 euro guardrail bill mm. and a written off car. Mm. And that was just a tyre. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I had a wheel bearing on an Alpha, and the wheel fell off, and I didn't hear anything. So I wasn't going fast enough. Alpha. So you were still driving <laughs> on three wheels? Yeah, well, and you went in, in the so pit lane for a tire in, change. I turned in, the car collapsed, and the wheel just went off down the hill. And the wheel hit the barrier, but the guys were really nice and they let me off the, yeah. the little dint from one wheel. They said, Did you make this with the car? I said, No, the wheel made this. They said, On the car? I said, No, the wheel had already come off. I was parked up here. And they said, Oh, it's just the wheel? Oh, you don't have to pay for it. You only pay yeah, if the car leave, hits. Leave the wheel Very interesting story of today. Yeah, thanks a lot for the tour. Yeah, thank you for really? joining us. Thank you for attending the track day and hopefully see you again at the next one. And when is it? Don't know. Go speak to the Nürburgring. Got to see if they'll let me do it again. Oh. <laughs> the track just got open, so I'll be waiting for the uh, ring garage 911 to come back so I can make a passenger lap with it. In the meantime, the Sirasta has joined us. As you can see, the sticker is very... Well, not good. And the reason for that is because the guys were already participating with their own car, but the own car broke down. So they called us and asked if we had some cars for them. So we brought the Sarasta for them and well, now they can continue their fun. Just a piece of extra service. We can bring the car on the spot and for you to have fun. Hello. How are you doing? Fine, how are you? Excellent. How's the car? Uh, not so well. No? <laughs> no. What's happened? Um, it seems to be misfiring. It's like it's running on three cylinders. Okay. Um, well, in that case, here you go. Another one for you. <laughs> have fun. If something goes wrong with this one, we'll have a third one for you. <laughs> something was wrong with the Speed Hunters GK86. We don't have time to fix it right now. And actually, why should we? We have one more. We actually have two more. We have in total three GK86s. So we brought the extra one so they can finish their laps for today and maybe do also even some tourist part after that. The moral of this story is we're quite easy. Easy going company, ring garage. If something's wrong with the car, you get another one. No extra cost attached, nothing. The 911 is finally back, so it's time for me to go for a passenger lap. If you want to see the onboard video, I will be filming with my GoPro for the Boosted Boris video. I'll put the link down below where you can check it out. So, wish me luck.
this was awesome I will be honest with you the car has some flaws because well it's the first time so we need to do some suspension setup we just had a small race with the Cayman GT4 it was a bit faster but then again GT4 is powered by a more powerful engine and it's a purebred race car this is something we still need to figure out a lot but still after driven many laps with the Cayman and with this one I'm positively impressed and I'm pretty confident about our 24 hour participation It is for now time to go to Ring Garage because it's been a very wonderful day. Me personally, I'd like to say, it's been a massive improvement over yesterday. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is a proper track day. Yeah, so n not many cars, open pit lane, uh, good good drivers. Yeah, yeah. I never had anything, well, I didn't experience anything stupid on the track. I Well, uh, of course, I haven't been on the track yesterday, but I actually didn't want to, judging from what happened yesterday. Mm, yeah, anyway, let's go back to Ring Garage yep. and there'll be some guys waiting at the Ring Garage who brought some simulators, so hopefully games. we... Games. games! Games! I hope we will be able to do some laps extra on the simulator because, yeah, we're already driving the track the whole day, every day, all those Porsches, so... Yeah, it gets boring, let's, let's do something else. Cheers! Bye-bye! <laughs> No problem. Just Go for it. No, you, you, you me. Okay. Always wear your helmet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you stalled it. Yeah, because of clutch. <laughs> yeah, you just have to use a little bit more filter for this, for, to get going. It's a GT. Someone needs to. Uh, someone needs clutch. to push me. <laughs> Yeah, usually in, in GT3 yeah, yeah. cars you get pushed. <laughs> Ray, you're my instructor, what should I do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you suck. I know. <laughs> interesting day with a lot of track time on track days all cars got back home safely here's the Cayman there's the yellow standing for get some some service done the sim racing was also very fun the guys left it here for one or more days and who knows maybe it will stay here for longer that's something I cannot tell at the moment I can tell you that we got some nice bikes here actually okay but for now that's enough of ring garage I'm gonna go to get some dinner because the guys are already waiting for me. Is that? Huh? Ah, it's a liquor. Yeah. No, there's liquor. Yeah. 